What up, basement gang? It's your boy Daily here, and today we're gonna be continuing the Great Eye campaign of Total Tank Simulator. This mission is called The Lowlands. Uh, this is just after we did the invasion of Poland, so it seems like we have the French and the British over here, uh, and then we are allied by Pink Wehrmacht, and then over here we are the Blue Wehrmacht. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set up our attack here, and then we'll go over uh, what we're going to be doing. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy these videos, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more Total Tank Simulator, boys. Either way, let's get it going. Alright gamers, this is what we've got going for our setup. We'll give orders while we go through it. Uh, so the front here is going to be uh, tanks and heavy tanks in the back to support the lighter tanks with infantry mingled in between. We're gonna have them actually defend uh, for 90 seconds here. Uh, and then we're doing that because I want our boys in the back, our artillery boys, to be able to get good shots on the enemy force here uh, while our boys are just sort of staying still because I don't think we can take on their force head on without some sort of destruction going on to their defense here. It's just too powerful right now uh, to leave completely alone uh, and just attack outright. We, we need some sort of destruction here going on in order for us to actually hit this thing. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing right now with these boys. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and hit the French Air Force over there. I know we have allies. I know, I know. But I don't have faith that they're going to be taking care of the airport that well. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, then we also invested a lot into our uh, planes up here. So what I'm going to be doing with these dive bombers is going after uh, the French airport and then the uh, larger ones here are gonna be going after the British uh, defenses over this way. All right, well, with that being known, why don't we go ahead and start this thing? Um, I'm a little bit wary of this battle, you know? It, it could go well, it could go terribly. Oop, I did not mean to take control right there. Whoops, I was hoping to get a cinematic. All right, here we are. <laughs> okay, so uh, right off the bat, the RAF versus the Luftwaffe is in full effect here, and the French Air Force exists. Uh, so does the other pink Luftwaffe. Uh, and hopefully we come out of this thing on top uh, for the time being. I know they have an airport, so they're going to get more ships up uh, from the French Air Force. But, uh, you know, that, that's just something we're going to have to deal with in turn. But the initial engagement, we should be able to win here. I am seeing more British and French planes going down than ours, so that is very, very good. Okay, yep, our defenses are still holding, uh, and it does look like we are bombarding as well. So we should be hitting these factories very, very soon, which would be great if we can knock these things out early, early, early. That would be awesome, because we do not personally have any factories. Let's see. Also, hopefully, if we can maybe get a few of their, you know, artillery and anti-aircraft guns, which doesn't seem to be possible at the moment. But that's okay. We took out the factory. That's all that really matters there. So, yeah, they do have a lot of anti-aircraft guns there. Uh, so that might nail our Luftwaffe pretty good, which would be a bummer. All right, our dive bombers did end up hitting the uh, French Air Force here a little bit. Oh, we took out a little bit of its shields, but not that much. Yikes, dude. All right. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, we still got our we still got our ground forces. It seems like the pink Germans over here are heading towards... Oh, the French are actually gunning it towards us, so they're coming in to interfere. It seems like everything is going to be happening over here on our side of the woods here, our neck of the woods, uh, which is partially okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's not great. I, I'd rather they... They stay over there, but, uh, you know, you, you get what you get, and you don't get upset here, boys. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at our crowd, boys, yeah. Standing tall, ready to fight. Look at that. Our tanks are just straight up nailing them with some outgoing fire. Beautiful. All right, so the pink Germans are actually side-sweeping over our forces here while our forces do uh, cover fire for them, and it looks like they're gunning for uh, just the last of the 
British and French tanks over here, and uh, they should be able to get a swift victory here. Yeah, judging by the size and power of our panzers that are moving in, it, it seems like we should get the swift dub. The swift little dub skate. Oh, it's taking a little while, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Are my forces moving forward at all? Oh, they're just starting to. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, do we still, by the way, have our artillery? We do have our artillery. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. And it looks like, in fact, the Luftwaffe came out on top, and we've still got a few dive bombers here uh, that are doing some work. That's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at those progress bars. We have so many more troopers. The British, in fact, were just wiped out uh, for the rest of the battle, and the French have barely anything left. It's like a couple of artillery pieces out here. It should be uh, easy pickings for our boys. Yeah, look at this. One little quarter pounder. It is not going to be long before the French dogs are down. Um, yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. That should be the dub. Boom. Easy lowlands victory right there, boys. All right, guys. This is breaking the Maginot line. Uh, so, he whoa, that's a big Maginot line. <laughs> okay, alrighty then. Oh boy. Um, this is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough one. We're going to have to go all out here. Uh, so let me set up the assault force and then uh, we'll, we'll start recording here. Alright, so here's what we've got going on uh, for this assault on the Magino line here. Uh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be very, very tricky. But I think we might be capable. So I'm going to have all of our forces right here attack specifically the left side of the Maginot line. We're going to leave the right side completely empty for the time being. In the meanwhile, we are going to artillery attack the absolute living crud out of the rest of the Maginot line here, uh, which should weaken it as our actual forces attack the left side. Uh, so we're sort of taking out uh, pieces of the Maginot line while only assaulting one side completely here, uh, which I think could end up doing pretty well for us and just sort of crush their defenses bit by bit. Uh, and not to mention, we do have some planas, some planes, uh, that are going to be doing some work for us too. Uh, so we've got bombers. I'm going to let the, uh, the tactical bombers do whatever the heck they want, really. Uh, you, you, you blokes, you, you, y'all are great. Y'all are great at what you do. Uh, so just do it. Uh, and we've got fighters that are going to be, uh, distracting the enemy fighters while that happens. So let's get it started here. All right. So slow-mo time. Let's check out what goes down here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of Frenchies. There's a lot of Frenchies right now. Oh, Lordy. This is going to be real, real rough here. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Oh my God. They're so many French forces here. My god. This is gonna be a yikes, dude. This is gonna be a fat yikes if we uh, lose this thing. Alright, the first of our Nebelwürfers are touching down right now, and it does seem like they are getting some direct hits on the Maginot line here. Good. Alright, how about the, uh, the left side over here? How's our little Blitzkrieg going? Alright, the lighter tanks are pushing in first, and the heavier tanks are following through afterwards. That's good. All right, we are taking out some of their bunkers here, which is very nice. We love to see that. All right, how's the sky? Oh, did they actually have anti-aircraft guns? Oh, of course, the Maginot line literally has them equipped. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have invested so much in aircraft then. That was really stupid of me. Yeah, look at this, like all of our planes falling in unison. Oh, the poor bombers, I am. I'm sorry about that, lads. That was definitely my B. That was my B, I should not have uh, that was that was just me being dumb, just straight up dumb. I didn't even realize that there were AA guns on the Maginot line there. That yeah, that was a bit of a dingus move, huh? All right. Oh, did we crash? Hello? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Might have had a little crash here. Uh, weird. Okay. Yikes. All right, so the game crashed, uh, which is uh, good and bad. We don't know how we would have done there, uh, but it means that, you know, we can fix what we did wrong, which I personally think right now is simply uh, actually using any planes at all. Uh, so I think we're going to just nix that and go with um, anti-aircraft guns to protect our artillery and take out their planes, uh, and we're not even going to use any planes. Like I said, I think 
Uh, that might have just been a pure and honest mistake, uh, and we're gonna rectify that now. And probably just double down on artillery instead. I think it's probably the move. Although this kind of terrain is not good for artillery. It can often um, hit the the trees and the hillsides and things like that and just kill itself. Uh, so we do have to be a little, little bit a little bit careful. Hey, Gov, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we are going to be a little bit careful with that. Um, but there we go. That's a solid amount of artillery right there. Um... And you know what, instead of starting in the back this time, maybe we just go ahead and uh, Blitzkrieg uh, from the very, very front here, you know? I still like the one side thing, I still think that's actually like a little bit smart. So we might continue doing that uh, with, you know, tiered, tiered tanks right there, you know? Small boys in the front, big boys in the back. Uh, and then we'll follow that all up with some infantry in the very, very back here, which I think is probably a good idea. Um, I, know, I feel like there's something more we should be doing. I don't know. Um, but, 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 uh, flamethrowers might actually be good here. We might get a few of those. Um, and then we'll just tear back infantry that way. Okay. I think that's the play. Let's try this. Hopefully it doesn't crash. If it crashes again, I think we'd probably give up on this map. Um, but yeah, I think it should be fine. I'm not even going to command the artillery where to strike. I'm just going to let them do their own thing. There's so many of them that, uh, you know, I'll let, I'll let them, them choose where to fight. So either way, here is the mass, mass Blitzkrieg of the uh, Maginot line here. Our tanks are moving forward swiftly. Uh, and taking out the first bunker with rapid succession here. Rapid, rapid succession. Uh, second bunker also over here going down pretty decently, I would say. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're taking some damage. I'd love to get in this and just get, like, a cinematic view, but it's not letting me. That'd be really cool. Alright, yeah, the Panzers are doing the work. Oh, you can see your smoke and explosions right now. Jeez Louise. Alright, Nebelwerfers are striking, and it seems like they're striking across the battlefield, which is good. That's exactly what we wanted. I don't know where this one's going. He's going way out there. Oh! Huh, there's uh, artillery back here. I didn't even realize. Okay. Well, good thing I, uh... Achoo! Oh, I sneeze. Um, good thing I had the Nebelwerfers just choose where they wanted to fire, because uh, that works out perfectly. Alright, we are decimating a large portion of this. Our tanks are busting through around the right side here. That's good. You know, this could be a Dubsky. How are the planes doing for the enemy? Alright, they are getting around. They are getting some shots off. I thought I would put enough anti-aircraft guns to really take them out, but it seems like we've only taken out one Planya there. Alright, there's our Nebelwerfer line. Still spamming fire out. Those are going to be some gnarly impacts. Yes! That is what we like to see. Alright, good. And it looks like the French are weakening. We're still about neck and neck in terms of power right now, so things could go poorly. Also, the French are kind of bombing our infantry down here. Can you stop? Stop it! <laughs> stop doing that! Oh my god. Alright, here comes our tanks. They're barreling on through, doing a little bit of a sweeping flank. Someone around the left. Okay. I think all they really have left right now might be artillery. I think we might have just crushed the Maginot line this time. Holy cow! Dang, we did well. We did very, very well. There is still a few French soldats over here. Uh, Guerre à la Monde 1? Would that be how you say World War 1? Guerre à la Monde 2 would be World War 2? Is that how you say it? Or... Le Monde Guerre 2? Is that how you would say it in French? Or would it be Guerre à la Monde 2? <laughs> I don't know. Any French people in chat? Can you, can you let me know? Ooh! We did get some tank bombs. Ooh! Wow, they wiped out my panzers there. That was not great. Right, sorry. Well, that one started floating. <laughs> what is up with this game? It can be so glitchy. Wow, our Panzer column right there took a lot of losses to that infantry. That's a bit of a yikes, man. That is a bit of a yikes. That's alright. That's alright. We're still doing okay. What What do they have? I mean, they barely got anything, it seems. It seems like just a few planes. How did we not take out their planes? I thought we had a solid anti-aircraft defense, but apparently not. They must be running out of fuel soon, though, right? Come on. Like, they gotta be. 
They're just kind of flying around like a bunch of dips. Yeah, I think that's it. Do they only have aircraft right now? That might be all they've got. Oh, one of them flew into our anti-aircraft zone. Good. This one's also out of fuel. So that might drop off at some point here. Oh, they're all running low on fuel. Yes. All right. Land already. This one's still managing to get shots off while it's deploying its landing gear. <laughs> all right. Here, I'll take control of a, a STG trooper here. We'll go up against this planya. It's still firing as it goes down. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. We could, we could literally shoot and destroy this plane right now. Right here, right now. Oh, the pilot got out. Pilot's out. Pilot's out. Ooh. Oh, it just exploded half of our troopers that were climbing that. What the heck? Oh, reload. Reload. He's running away. There we go. Ooh, that guy liked his grenades, didn't he? Dang. All right, there's one more French soldier over this way somewhere. We just got to find him, boys. We just got to... Oh, I see him. He's crossing across the field here. Is he going to go in this? Here. Let's preemptively grenade this so if he gets on the roof... Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the preemptive grenade. Let's go. We killed him. Ha! Ah, beautiful. All right, guys. We managed to complete two missions in the Greater Reich campaign. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to continue to play these. I think they're pretty fun. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.